Pakistan is going to be completely exposed at a global stage in just a few minutes from now when victims of terror in Kashmir are going to be putting forth their voices at the global forum of the United Nations Human Rights Council. For the first time, in fact, victims of terror in Jammu and Kashmir are going to be demanding their rights at the global stage, at a stage where Pakistan often tries to peddle its propaganda, something that India has called out time and again. Once again, Pakistan is going to be completely exposed and that session at the UNHRC is going to begin in just a short while from now. Tarendra, my colleague, now joins us for more on this. This is going to be historic. There have been multiple times in the past where India has called out Pakistan and its uh, export of terror into India. But for the first time, the victims are going to first-hand share their experience. Absolutely. This is the first time that victims of uh, terror in Jammu and Kashmir that is being exported by Pakistan is a cause for terrorism uh, that has been there for uh, decades now. And this is for the first time that they'll be sharing their pain and how it has changed their lives uh, in, at this platform. And we have seen that Pakistan keeps peddling uh, their propaganda at uh, these platforms. We have seen uh, Pakistani Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif speaking at the UNGA and mentioning uh, Kashmir in his speech. Though he didn't respond to his uh, comments uh, by uh, external affairs minister Jay Shankar. Uh, but obviously, cross-border terrorism is a big concern for India, and it has been raising this issue over the years uh, on different platforms. But today, it's a, it's a big day, wherein the uh, victims of terrorism will be speaking out uh, how uh, the, 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 uh, the cross-border terrorism has uh, changed, affected their lives. And we believe that uh, they will be addressing uh, the UNHRC that's going on in Geneva shortly uh, from now. Right, and just a few minutes from now is when we are expecting that and we've only seen the kind of uh, rattled push that has come to the fore from Pakistan, isn't it, in the last couple of months, especially since the abrogation of Article 370. The fact that the people of Kashmir, the youth of Kashmir, want to be on India's side, want to stand with India is clearly something that Pakistan cannot digest, which is why we've seen the increase in attacks on civilians, especially in the last two years in Kashmir. Yes, obviously we have seen the targeted killing since uh, last October. We have seen multiple killings in respect of the uh, religions followed by the uh, victims. We have seen killings of local teachers, uh, of some officials. We have seen uh, uh, killings of uh, sarpanches and also the minority community uh, uh, staying there. Also from uh, some laborers and you know, you know workers who are uh, earning a livelihood in Kashmir. So all, uh, over the past one year, there have been multiple uh, targeted killings in uh, specifically Kashmir. Uh, and we have also seen how Pakistan keeps on peddling one-sided propaganda when, wherein they just mention Kashmir and uh, they abuse uh, India at uh, different uh, uh, platforms. But uh, uh, this is for the first time wherein the, uh, the victims of terror will will come uh, like uh, come in front and uh, convey what they have felt all, all, all these years and how Pakistani propaganda, uh, how, how Pakistani uh, uh, you know machinery has been targeted in Jammu and Kashmir, and uh, in a way uh, they have ruined their lives. And uh, also, uh, as in uh, external affairs minister Jaishankar has said that, uh, uh, like some newspapers, they only uh, highlight the one side of the uh, story. They don't tell the real. Uh, uh, stories of those people who are, whose lives have been ruined by terrorism in Jammu and Kashmir. And this will be the uh, first platform wherein the victims themselves will be uh, coming forward and telling the tale of uh, horrors that they have been living uh, in the Kashmir for the last um, uh, almost 32 years. Absolutely. It's going to be quite historic in just a few minutes from now when uh, the victims of Pakistan's terror are going to speak out and are going to expose terror perpetrator, terror exporter Pakistan on a global front yet again. Do stay